Hello everyone, this is Christian Mount Exiton Interactive and in this video we are going to focus on the anchor tags here or the main navigation area. So we have in the end we'll end up with these articles, applications, and video links. We'll also have of course uh, some responsive designs going on, right? They disappear at the breakpoint that we've decided on which is 1024 pixels. Um, in addition to that though, the more interesting part of this is how we're going to do it. So instead of hard coding in what the those LIs are that contain the anchor tags and text. What we're going to do is basically create a, sort of a mix-in like thing with uh, using functions or the func uh, to build up those tags so that later on so we can say instead of LI anchor blah 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 and then having to copy and paste them later on because we're going to have them in the mobile navigation we'll define them once or put them in wherever we want them. They can be in uh, multiple locations. And again, we've only described them once, so if we need to update or change something, change it here, and everything else updates automatically. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Of course, like I said, we're gonna start, or in this video, we're gonna focus on adding in the uh, main navigation anchors here. And we're gonna start by adding in uh, the icon, the little hamburger icon for the uh, mobile navigation. So I'm gonna start in this, I call it the main.page.ts file. So it's just a TypeScript file that includes, or is included on every page. And I'm gonna get the uh, icon from Font Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and import from, and we need Ford Awesome and SVG Core. And from there, we're gonna get DOM and Library. All right, and we also want to have, what's this, Ford Awesome, Free Solid solid and you know if what your the build process involves some tree shaking it'll be able to take care of not including all the icons just to be sure we can also just import the one that we want so there we have this and it would be fa bars and I'm getting a probably a TS lint no See if it works itself out here for a moment here. Might have uh, added the wrong one here. FA bars. And so we add that to the library. Then we do the dom.watch. I'm going to save that. Let's go back. Take a look here. Funny how I just had this running and deleted it, Oop, means I imported something wrong. So I had the regular here, it's actually in the solid package, so solid SVG, all right. So now we can save that, and of course we have where we left off, but nothing else going on. That's all we need for the uh, main.page.ts file. So let's add some content here. So we're in the main, Ignoring all of this stuff, that's what we're actually adding, so let's get rid of it. So in the top here, or let's come down, and we'll just define them. So I want a couple of strings. And const string text, just so we can style some things. All right. So now we'll have a, what we're gonna do for the moment is type things in, or uh, just sort of manually put everything in here. And so we'll start off with a div, and we'll put a class on, oops, div. I call it anchors. And so inside of that, we'll have a, I guess it could have just, Nah, we'll leave it. So we'll have a UL. 
on that, we will put a class of, so this is going to contain the anchors. So when we have the, <coughs> you know, sort of large screen, we'll have the anchors, you know, extended out. And then we have them um, in a mobile menu behind this uh, little uh, click on the button. So we'll define this. So this will be the, when they have a large view. So I just called it anchors-large. Perfect. So now inside of that, of course, an li link. Inside of that, the actual anchor itself. Of course, like I said, I'm mimicking or I was doing this to create the new uh, navigation bar from a website. So of course, make the href whatever you need it to be. Class. We define that class at the top, the CSS link anchor. For these, uh, it wouldn't be necessary, but there'll be some icons if we see the sort of register and login uh, links have icons with them. So we'll have a facility for dealing with icons. Why I still have it open, I don't know. So let's make this div class. And this is CSS link text. And like I said, we'll have a, an icon and some text in here. So just to keep everything uniform, we'll throw a span in this one and call it articles. Fine. So we have that link. We'll just go ahead and copy that. It's not really necessary. I'm not really, not really using it, but to see so we have applications going on so we have two links going on and now so we're still inside of the anchors div but outside of the anchors uh, large and what I'm going to do is create another div give that a class of anchor bars side of here 11 anchor tag um, this is just going to be our click button, so I don't need an href to it. I will need to get a hold of it, so we'll put an ID on it. Mobile toggle. Inside of there, our div comes back. And what was it? CSS link text. And in here we don't have we aren't we don't have any text, but we do have an icon, a class for that icon, font on some solid FA bars, and we're gonna put a little large to make it a little bigger. Go ahead and save that. Refresh, and we can see the icon is there like it's supposed to be, and we have our text there. So that's set for the moment. So let's do some styling now. Uh, oops, didn't didn't get rid of some stuff. Ignore that. Wasn't there. Let's refresh. That's what it should look like. So now we have <coughs> we'll have a couple of ULs on here. I said uh, we have the main navigation, and then we have this authentication, register, login, logout, login kind of thing. So I have a couple of ULs, so we'll just put a display, display flex, flex direction row, and the height of 100%, margin zero, padding zero, save it. Now we're a little bit better. We want to have one thing for the LIs, and I'm going to set their height to 100%. All right, and some more stuff that I'm just not going to delete it. So in the main navigation, grid template areas, we have a logo, and now we have anchors. Like I said, we're going to want to have the anchors at least in the uh, large display, so over 1,024 pixels in width. We want the anchors to take up Basically, one fraction, everything else will be auto, so that will expand, you know, let the anchors have all of the, uh, any, if there's any extra space, it will be in the anchors. And for the moment, like I said, we only have 
three things. We really only need, I mean, this could be auto. We'll need one fraction later on, so we'll just leave it there and put the thing that's going to be there in the mobile navigation view. What expands to take up the space is the search bar. So it'll just uh, replace it later on. All right, so that takes care of us coming down to here. So below the logo, we will have dot anchors. Good area anchors. All right, so of course we do our whole mobile first. So less than 1,024, say dot anchors large display should be none let's go ahead and include our media query so media greater than and we have our whoop, mobile break width let's put that to flex i guess all right save that they're gone and they come back in our breakpoint, so that's working. Let's come down here and dot anchor bars. Height 100%. So that'll adjust them into the middle. Let's go ahead and do our media query. Include media greater than. So just a mirror of that one up there. Mobile break width. Display none. So here we are. So we can see. So that's the 1024. They're gone. Just above it, their bars are gone. And so we're good to go there. Last thing that I want to do here. So like I said, we do not have an href. So we automatically don't get or do not get a uh, cursor and also included some padding nothing top and bottom 16 pixels left and right cursor pointer save that perfect all right so that takes care of the CSS part there now we return back to our main navigation. We won't have time to do it in this video, but later on what's going to happen, right, is we're going to have these same navigation anchors contained in a mobile navigation. And of course, we could just copy and paste. Copy and paste is bad. We don't like copy and paste. So, what do we want how do we want to do this? So first off, what we'll do, so let's take a look at this one. Let me just bring it up here. All together on one line here. So what we're going to do is start breaking this thing down and basically mimicking the mix-in ability of, you know, templating language like Pug. So let's take that and create something from it, right? So let me come up here to our code block there. And I'm going to make link text. Link text is going to be a func. And it's going to take a string, give back a string. Perfect. And hmm. let's do not split screen now. All right. So we need our text that we're going to take in. And what we're going to return basically is a templated string. Save that there. Obviously, there we go. Let's say something's wrong. So let's just take this and copy it up here. So first thing off that we need to do, we probably, probably don't need this one since this is the only place it appears. But let's just leave it in there. So we'll escape those strings, and of course we need to come back in and tell it to actually, yeah. All right, so now we have our div, 
articles. So let's take it out and, well, I guess we could see it work. Hopefully. <laughs> so, link text. Actually, this is off script, so I'm thinking this might not work. Because it's just going to display. I think it will just display the string. So let's go back. All right, so there's the articles. Actually, I guess I should have done it before. We'll see. So if we just have the link text, put that on there. What we get is just the string, div, blah, blah, blah. What we want to do is to input uh, HTML in here. And you accomplish that by doing the HTML helper and then there's a raw method on it. And that will give us our tag back, or div. All right, so we have the link text going correct. So let's just sort of Build up from there, right? So let me go ahead and do the same deal here. For a moment, we'll see. We'll replace that here in a second. So if we go up here, call this anchor. New funk string. I guess we need two strings in and one string out. All right, so for our anchor, what we'll need is the href for it. Why don't you replace that? And we're just going to use the terminology from pug for block. So this is the thing that's going to be contained within it. And put our template string here. All right. Yeah, pause for a moment. Let my squigglies go away. So what I want is this anchor here. Put it up here. We have an href coming in. Well, let's first let's escape some strings escape or quotes put this back in we have that actually let's come over here so block is already specified get rid of not the escape character and we'll put a truff so now we should be able to build up uh, the anchor tag and what I want to do is to enclose the li. So let's take this up, another block there. We'll have our li. So far, li new funk. The li takes a string, gives a string. The string it takes in is just the block. And it gives back this. Where are you at, block? Perfect. So let's go ahead and escape that. And we need... Perfect. So now we should be in a position to build up our tags, our anchors here. Let me go ahead and so these are where we want them to go. Actually, I should leave them alone. So let's do four articles. So what we'll do here is again html.raw. So what we need is an li. So the li needs a block. So inside of our li, if we look down here, is an anchor, right? So we do anchor. So our anchor needs two things, the href. Let's steal this one, change this to articles. So our anchor has an href now, and the anchor also wants the block, so the containing element, or the, it's children. The children inside of there is the div, right, which is our link text. So do link text. Link text is expecting 
one uh, string, so basically the text itself, right? So we'll have articles. All right, so I'm going to pause. Again, wonder why that squiggly is there. So we have articles, just copy that. So we have applications. Applications, perfect. And just because to have a sort of a different one here, what I'm gonna do is include, so we have this, I have a videos, one on the uh, main navigation. So videos is different because it's an external link. So we'll just uh, sort of build it up ourselves in the sense that so we need an li, and of course the li is expecting uh, a block of or the, the container, the block, and this is where we would put the anchor, and it is an anchor. It's just not this anchor. We need some more stuff to it. It's different. It's a one-off, so I'm not going to do my. I'm not going to create something else for it. So let's just build it up ourselves. Probably would be easier just to do it down here, right? So what we need is contains, let's use this one. So what we need is an anchor. The anchor is going to have, and oh, let's do it in order of the notes. So we have a class. Same, same class is going on. So down here, this is an at CSS link anchor. We need the href. Just going to copy it. It's the uh, channel href for my YouTube channel. Copy it in there. And I said we want to make this thing an external link, so we'll put target blank. We're going to be as security conscious as possible. Put the no refer on there, and then we'll put videos as the text. Quick to make sure. All right, so now we take this up to here. We'll escape some strings. All oh. more escaping. Escape some quotes, I mean. Put our CSS class in here. So now we have videos. All right. So now, if everything worked correctly, we should be able to say at articles, provided right, you can spell, um, at applications, and at videos. Save that. See our no squigglies. And so now we have our navigation back. Open this up. We see that things that are, are built correctly, right? We have the UL, LI with the class, anchor tag, its class contains a div with its class and the text itself all within there. And again, the purpose for us doing this is now we could, whoop, we could, I mean, just, you know, you could just have another UL. We'll have it later on. And have those contained within it. And we've only written it once, and we've got two allies or two uh, sets of anchors going on. I said in the next video we probably probably work on the mobile navigation but I'm, I don't remember exactly what I did now so until then I'll talk to you later all right so the only thought I was done here um, you know I'm finished with this and uh, wondering why I still have a, a diff a change and get there and the realization is is that uh, I made a mistake here of course we don't want all of our 
tags to have articles for the text. So simple change, right? Instead of this, this shouldn't be hard coded in here. This should be the text. Now we save that. Git realizes everything is the same. Hit refresh and uh, the zooming is the problem. Might be hard to see, but now we're back to articles and applications and a uh, simple change there. So now I will talk to you later in the next video. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you and I will talk to you in the next video.